everybody. My name is Jeff Jablonski. I've been a parishioner here at St. Michael Parish for about nine years. Uh, my wife Dominique and I have had the privilege of seeing all three of our daughters baptized here and our oldest is now preparing for her first communion this spring. So it's a very exciting time for us. Uh, you may recognize our family at the 10 a.m. Mass. Uh, we always sit in the family room so as not to be too much of a distraction. And sometimes I wonder, you know, is it all worth it taking these three kids to church? Uh, they aren't always paying attention. Uh, they certainly aren't following along with the readings. And often I'm too distracted um, when it comes to participating in the prayers or, or listening to the priest homilies. Sorry, Father Dealey, Father Joe, and Father Ray. Uh, but I firmly believe that the Holy Spirit still has a way of working through all that, uh, mysteriously bringing my family closer to the Lord. I see it in my children. They may not pay attention at Mass, uh, but they start to ask questions. Uh, they build friendships with the other children at church and want to participate in the uh, abundance of wonderful activities that our parish has to offer. Um, and, and without a doubt, they've grown in the community of the church and as a result, in relationship with Jesus. And for me, uh, I thank the Lord for uh, works through my wife, my children, my, grand my godchildren, my parents, and my grandparents in the light of this parish for converting me to Christ. Over the last couple of years, I've experienced the season of Lent in a totally new way with a stronger focus uh, than ever on prayer, almsgiving, and fasting. I have the privilege of being part of a couple small uh, faith sharing groups, um, really something that I never really imagined myself doing. Uh, in one of them, we read The Return of the Prodigal Son by Henry Nowen. Uh, and the content of the discussions uh, have really forced me to look uh, deep uh, within myself uh, to start to discover my own shortcomings and have experienced uh, a seed of transformation. Furthermore, uh, I, I really thought our parish mission was incredible. Of all the wonderful anecdotes that Father Grover shared, the one that really hit me the hardest uh, was the one about the homeless man who witnessed God's love for him because of a small fortune that he experienced one day. It really made me reflect on why Jesus says, blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Uh, I've realized when, uh, pra when, when I practice being poor in spirit, uh, which can be uh, very hard for me to do, um, I'm, I'm, I'm more easily able to uh, put aside the distractions of this world and make time for God and, and to rely on God more and to be grateful for all the small things that the Lord gives me. Uh, this is why I love the practice of, of fasting and asceticism and, and, um, and really the focus on prayer uh, throughout all of Lent. I feel like it's not only reparation for my sins, uh, but breaks me down so I can more easily focus on God. And, and for me, the Lord has called me close to him this Lent by receiving him in prayer, specifically contemplative prayer and silence. I've always heard that God is always knocking on our door, uh, initiating prayer with us. Uh, we just need to learn how to receive him and let him in. Uh, this intimate prayer uh, is new for me, uh, and it certainly comes with its challenges. Uh, but in my limited experience, uh, it's provided a lot of grace. Um, so uh, thanks, thanks for listening, everybody. I, I really appreciate your time, and may God's blessings and grace be with you this Lent, Easter, and always.